Okay, so this is looking like we have a Dwarble Knight, uh, the Greninja main from Michigan. And then we also have Nautilus, the Peach main from Illinois. Yep. Uh, Nautilus, one of the very few Peaches in Illinois. Uh, he attends uh, like Backflow Thursday a lot and stuff like that. The more, uh, well, someone who goes to those events, um, he relatively well known in the scene. Also a very solid player. Don't know a whole lot about Adorable Knight, uh, but I like the name, dude. Yes, Adorable Knight, uh, definitely a recognizable name. I feel like maybe he was at Smash and Splash uh, prior years, things of that sort. Somebody that is definitely a regular <laughs> attendee and someone who's whose skill level we are not going to question with him making it this far in bracket. Yeah, absolutely. Sitting in Division 2. So, that's S tier major, man. So uh, Nautilus going with the uh, the counter type to the water type. He's going he's going with Electric, the classic. All right, going to Town and City. Pokes on the shield. Right, we got Fair. Ooh, we have Nautilus putting himself in a bad position. On the ledge versus Greninja. Yeah, you, you, you always got to be careful when you have to walk back into neutral versus Greninja. Any any little aerial he does can lead into a smash attack. Yeah. I think we definitely got to be scary for Peachy, uh, knowing uh, how powerful that up smash is. I mean, at like 60%, you're afraid. If not earlier. Mm, okay. Upbeat goes a pretty far, uh, long way down for Greninja. I, I barely see people move that, use that move like straight vertically. Yeah. Okay. Playing around here. Ooh, the down smash, killing Greninja. Yeah, that just barely killed yeah. too. Yeah, move lasted so long, you probably didn't expect to die afterwards. Yeah, they were break dancing in the middle of the stage for the longest Ooh, time. Ooh, the down smash from Greninja. Yo, all right. Well, it turns out we got like a live metal band. <laughs> Smash and Slash Man. for five, five seconds. I'm coming that, back to it. That's Pichu's type of music. As soon as that music started playing, he's like, you know what? I'm going to rack up this 37 damage real quick, and I'm going to keep it going. All right, Global Knight resetting. Very smart there. Uh, a lot of times people like that you know, start getting combo. They just want to go and attack instead of resetting the neutral. Oh, wow. Gosh. Okay. Down here is going to kill wow. all the way to the right. My word. I guess this uh, electric counter fix working out. Yeah, man, super effective. You didn't play. You didn't play red and blue. I didn't play any Pokemon. Dude, man. you didn't know. You didn't know Pichu was the truth. Yeah, man, you can't. You can't go in with a water type. That's crazy. Hey, I, I mean, in all seriousness, Adorable Knight has not really been able to find a way to get in. Uh, yeah. Nautilus using Thunder Jolt and things like that, making sure he's boxed out most of the time. Okay, here, fair, grab up air, fair. Oh gosh, Ooh. forward to. He's framing the ledge there. And that back here is going to get rid of Adorable Knight. Nautilus just, just going nuts in bracket this weekend. Uh, I actually got to watch this man last night uh, play against my fellow New Age member, Oscar. And uh, I, watched him, <laughs> I watched him zero to death him. Oh, and, and, man. And the, I, th I think it was the second game. But somehow Oscar ended up winning. I, I, don't, I don't know how. <laughs> that, that, I'm just like that short, I saw that short little plug for your man. You know, he, 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 he won. Don't, <laughs> don't get me wrong. <laughs> he, he won that game, but Nautilus won the set. Yeah. You know, what what actually mattered him, just how consistent he is with his Pichu combos, not dropping anything. He leaves nothing on the board. All right, uh, I think Adorable Knight agrees with you because oh, yeah. he completely said, look, uh, water type's not working out. I'm going with sword type, man. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm really liking the sword and shield games Pokemon got thrown out. This is the new meta, the new meta for the Nintendo Switch. Bet on it. feel like you need some more projectiles to deal with this character. Mm -hmm. Now, here, here's the thing, though. When you're going against uh, Young Link, uh, patience is key. Yeah. They're going to spam fire arrows. They're going to spam boomerangs. You just got to sort of tap him every once in a while, make sure you get rid of him, and then when you see your opportunity coming from the air, something like that, and then start comboing him. Dare. Great spacing, so he's able to get the grab. Knock Young Link off the stage, and he's dead at 85 after the hit. Such a light character. You need to drink more milk, oh my man. God. Your bones are not strong enough. You need calcium. So one thing people do not think about when they are playing this game, they're thinking, you know what, Town and City, it's a big stage. You'll live long. But uh -huh. when you're on the side of the stage, those blast zones are short. Yeah, yeah, they are. 
Um, and especially for a character like Pichu, who uh, can definitely just sort of frisbee you across stage with that back air. Nautilus has been doing it multiple times. For a lighter character like uh, Young Link, that's going to be a problem. All right, let's let Joe hop it over it. Can you get punished with a back air here? <laughs> getting the kill with the dare. Man, I, he just stabbed a rodent to death. Yeah. That's crazy. And a dare. Gets him off the stage. And uh, he knew in his heart that he was going to go above the stage. Nautilus getting jabbed up right now. Still got the center stage. They're having to deal with these young projectiles right now. Adorable Knight off stage once again. Yeah, see, he, he really didn't need to commit right there. Yeah. The Adorable Knight just sort of rushed in, dashed in, he was like getting impatient. But he was keeping Nautilus out, and all of a sudden he went for a dash tag, and Nautilus was like, oh, thanks, bro, I needed that. Just keep applying that uh, that pressure from a safe distance. Get this damage. There on the Pichu. Yeah. Pichu sitting at 65 damage. Oh, back, uh, Eric's not gonna quite kill from that distance. We gotta watch out for forward, though. Once again, we got Young Link seeing it death percent versus Pichu. Forward tilt. And got, take a stock. got tased right in the midsection just like that. Now now this is when Adorable Knight really needs to calm down and just play a patient game. Back here. Not going to get anything else off of that. And the dare killing Pichu at exactly 100%. Wow. Adorable Knight's definitely still in this game, only sitting at 28. It's crazy, too, because straight up, that was just a call out. The, the, like, that didn't, nothing led into that. He just knew that Nautilus was going to jump in and try to continue a combo, and Adorable Knight just shoved that sword into that rodent's head once again. Maybe a thob special. Ooh, trying to get a fair afterwards. We got the boomerang in play, the returning boomerang. Mm -hmm. There we go. Getting him out of trouble there. Yeah, all of a sudden, I don't know what happened, but uh, Adorable Knight's right back in. He's going to hit a forward smash, sending Nautilus all the way off stage. Just like that, Adorable Knight's winning. Ooh. Oh, he let go of a shield and tornado. We've seen a lot of tornadoes on screen today, man. And the crazy thing is, a lot of the time, oh, gosh, and he's... Oh, no, he dropped he it. fell out of the last hit. But a lot of the times, when you see somebody fighting against Young Link, you're going to think they're dropping shield in the middle of that spin. Mm -hmm. But it's shield pokes all of the time, and that is a dead... Young Link, Nautilus said, I'm taking this in a 2-0 fashion. You are not coming back. Yeah, twister after twister. One's got to win eventually, and finally the back air from Peach was able to put him away. Uh, and that was, uh, that was really good.